What's going on everybody? It's Jada Black here. Another video. Salute to everybody that is tuning in. I appreciate it. I've been sent this article by a couple different people, but um but shout out to the, the, the lady that sent it to me on Facebook. And it's about an NFL player whose girlfriend left her job because of what uh her co-worker said about her dating black men okay now this is according to blavity.com it said the partner of new england patriots defensive back ob melifonwu that's how you pronounce it quit her job after co-workers called her unclean in private messages for dating a black man now i want y'all to understand this is an attractive female and especially the dudes may feel some type of way if they find out that she's dating a brother and not trying to talk to them you know uh, Alyssa Okada worked as a personal trainer at Platinum Fitness in Fort Myers Florida the 24 year old revealed via Instagram on June 20th, she will no longer work at the gym due to the harassment of the race manner. Messages between the CEO of Platinum Fitness and another unidentified man showed them speaking about Okada's relationship with Melifonwu. And again, because they're jealous because they want to be with her and she's not with any of them they've probably tried and she's probably turned them down <clears throat> but instead she, and, and by the way if you look at it this way right he's an nfl player they're personal trainers even a guy who owns the gym i mean he, he's the owner of a gym okay but she's dating an nfl player now i'm not saying he's a the best but he has a high profile job okay and she's going to choose that over what her co-workers have to say or think okay she's qualified but she dates black men a co-worker wrote in a facebook messenger her boss replied to the statement with a single word unclean now i want to know this how did she get these messages because it seemed to me that somebody must have screenshot and sent it to her it could have been it could have been the guy who was speaking to the to the owner. He must have screenshot it and sent it to her. You know, maybe he felt some type of way, but you're having a conversation about this man's race. All because y'all are attracted to this woman and she's probably curved both of you. Or especially the, the co-workers there. Maybe not so much the owner, but the co-workers. As heavy no, as heavy notes. Uh, the personal trainer and fitness guru is of mixed heritage. There are emojis of the Japanese and German flags in her bio of her Instagram profile. Okada also mentioned her background in a Facebook post calling out the gym for its statements regarding her relationship. The couple met at the University of Connecticut when they were students in the years between 2013 and 2017. She said in a detailed Facebook uh, statement, that she was taught to love a person's character rather than their skin color or appearance, which is very good values to have. And for a woman who's of mixed heritage, she would be taken aback. I would be taken aback by those comments, of course. I wouldn't want um, people talking about me that way, saying that you know the, the woman I'm dating is unclean for being with me, but that's the mindset of non-black men. That's their mindset. Not all of them, but certain guys, you know, um, I've been in gyms, you know, the, the energy can be off, especially when you have a presence, you know, you, you walk into a room confident, you know, you can feel the energy shift at times, especially if there's women around, if the, especially attractive women, they think that you're going to get those women attention, you know, they're going to feel some type of way, you know, the gyms are highly competitive places, even with the personal trainers, you know. Uh, let's see. But they met in college. And what was also interesting is that, you know, um, they met in college, which means they've known each other for a while, even before he got drafted 
uh, by the Oakland Raiders, I believe. That's who he was with. Now he's with the New England Patriots. So they've known each other for a while. And maybe they're just in a really good place in their relationship. But I have to say this to Obi. Um, she's leaving her job, bro. And she's already telling you <laughs> that she's showing you loyalty for you to show her that ring. Okay. You know, because she's going to hold this over your head, bro. Maybe not all the time, but, you know, uh, when a relationship hits a snag, she's going to be like, look, I left my job because of, you know, me defending you. I'm not saying she would do that, but when you leave your job, unless you have something else lined up that you're going to be doing, you know, you're basically, you know, he's basically going to be taking care of her, you know, and maybe he's good with that. I've been struggling very hard for the past few days to find the words to express how I feel about leaving Platinum Fitness, she wrote in the post. I considered saying nothing at all, but I realized that I refuse to stay quiet about something that has not only hurt me to the core, but hurt millions every single day. I am the product of an interracial relationship. I have faced the obstacles that come along with this throughout my life, I also chose to love people for who they are, for their character and their soul, not their outward appearance or the color of their skin. Okada also alleged the Jim Foster environment where sexual misconduct was rampant. Once again, you got a lot of thirsty trainers in there who are trying to sleep with other women. And she was probably one of those women who curved them, you know? <laughs> Probably was curving them and, and they feel some type of way about who she's dating. You know, she's dating an NFL player. She's not going to leave him to date none of you guys that are employees at a gym. You know, uh, let's see. Not saying it wouldn't happen, but I doubt it would happen in this situation. But to say that there's rampant sexual misconduct, I, I think she needs to. Um, really keep it to what's going on with her and her situation because you know she don't want people to get you know thrown on the bus unnecessarily because then it's going to make it seem like that gym is just is fostering a lot of disdain towards women as far as the mistreatment of them and the mistreatment of non you know uh, whites or, or non-native you know fair-skinned people okay so if I was her, I would keep it to that. Don't go into that route. Don't take that route. That's not a route you want to go. Okay, let's keep it to what's going on in this situation. After the swift backlash, the gym reportedly apologized and called the exchange a mistake. However, Okada isn't buying their apology. Their comments were exactly how they felt she said. Because she would know. She worked there. I'm sure she has heard a lot of these conversations personally. And it never really bothered her until they talked about her. They probably have talked about black people like dogs. But when the con when she's a part of the conversation, now all of a sudden she's ready to quit. They have all these issues. Let's talk about the sexism in, in the workplace or the misconduct in the workplace. And it's like. But you worked there. You were, you was ready to stay there until you saw this screenshot of this Facebook message. It's not an effing mistake. This is how you feel. This is how you think. You're just sorry you got caught, she said in her IG live, her IG live stream. If someone says something that's flat out effing wrong. Stop making excuses for them. It's done. The 25-year-old Patriot safety has yet to comment. I don't think he cares, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> that relationship might be on the skids. He might be, you know, you know. <laughs> I don't think he really cares, man. I don't think Obi cares. Obi trying to make the team. He's focusing on his season coming up. I don't think he cares about what dudes in the gym got to say about him. I don't think he really cares much. You know, he's focusing on his career. He's not focused on, um, you know, small talk and insults from people he don't know. 
people who seem jealous of him and who he's with. Um, but considering that she went live to speak on this, it lets me know that she's been harboring maybe some, some feelings that she was never able to express and now she's able to express them because she either liked her job or didn't want to get fired, didn't want to have to leave it, but she ended up leaving it. And I, I think that in this situation, I think now she's not holding back anymore and her true feelings about how she feels about these people are coming to fruition. But yeah, I don't think Obi cares. I think Obi is focused on the season, which is what he should be. Don't, don't let... The, the thoughts of small minded people who have to go to the gym every day to feel good about themselves or work in a gym because these are about the workers. But, you know, a lot of those personal trainers, they work out too, and them feeling insecure about who you're dating. First off, you shouldn't care who she's dating. Why does the owner of that gym care about who his employees are dating unless he's trying to? to sleep with those women which is probably what goes on and that's why this this particular young lady is feeling some type of way about the situation and she did the you know she did what she thought was in her best interest now we're gonna see the situation with her and obi and see if you know, Obi, you know, takes it one step further and either speak on it or say, you know what? Um, you know, let's let's make this official. You know, let me make sure that you're cuffed up. You showed ultimate loyalty to me. But again, I, I think that, you know, Obi might play this cool. You know what I'm saying? Because trust and believe people have motives for the things that they do. You know, people don't just do things just because it's the right thing to do people do certain things because it fits whatever narrative they're trying to put out there maybe she's been trying to leave this gym for a long time and just never really had a reason to but now she had a reason to so let me think oh, oh let me just say this as well whenever it comes to these particular relationships with a lot of these women she said that she's either known him since college or has dated him since college but they both live in different states he was playing in california she's living in florida i don't think he lives in florida so either this is a long distance or something new but i don't know man some some tell me that this <laughs> this situation this situation may uh unravel quicker than the upcoming season approaching but we will see people um if y'all like or agree with she did you can let me know in the comment section below and uh let me know your thoughts on this particular video